Godzilla minus one. Wow, what a fantastic movie. Easily the surprise of the year for me. I've never been a huge Godzilla fan by any means. The movies are fine, they're fun, but usually they lack the emotional and character depth, substance, and unfortunately are too often just set piece monster mash flicks. But this film floored me with how good it really is. It absolutely deserves all the hype and recognition people around the world are giving. There will be some spoilers in this review. Uh, my spoiler free review is this movie is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, then go watch it and come back. The director and writer Takashi Yamazaki deserves immense credit for crafting a riveting, dramatic, and engaging Godzilla story. I can say without a doubt that this is the best acting I have seen in a movie of this caliber. Usually in the American films, for sure, you don't really care about the people. Bring them in for a beer. No, this time we join the fight. You just want to see Godzilla fight or whatever. But in this movie, you absolutely care about the destruction. You care about the lives being taken and the characters we follow and root for. The film does such an incredible job showing the fear and terror that these people have as they flee the monster, Godzilla. It really is an incredible feat that conveys more emotion than any Godzilla film before it. Ryuno Suki Kamiki plays the lead role of Koichi Shikishima. He's a would-be kamikaze pilot who fakes a mechanical problem with his plane to avoid flying to his death. I really appreciated how the film approached the issue and showed us the emotional toll those expectations and that weight takes on the people. Uh, we even see at one point Koichi uh, wonders if this nightmare he's living through is real or a dream and that maybe he's already dead. There is an incredibly emotional scene where Koichi, having been through so much, screams at Godzilla, pouring out his rage and sorrow while black rain falls from the sky. It's an incredible scene that just shows his emotion and pain. Minami Hamabi is Nariko Oishi, the romantic love interest of Koichi. Uh, she provides much needed support and emotional development for the story. We feel ourselves rooting for Koichi to do the right thing and fully commit to her and his family. The actress here did a wonderful job. The other actress that I thought really stood out was Sekiro Ando as Sumiko Ota. In the beginning, she seemed a bit combative as she dismissed Koichi too easily, but as the story progresses, she became one of my favorite characters. I really enjoyed her role in this movie. I especially loved, towards the end, how we see one of the characters tasked with helping him on his mission. You're led to believe he is going to fly the plane into Godzilla's mouth and sacrifice himself. But a beautiful montage shows that no, the man that berated him before for not sacrificing his life now pleads with him to live and installed an ejection seat. It was a very well written and touching setup and scene. As to the rampage of Godzilla, I have never been more terrified for the people. He truly feels like a wild and violent creature when he is stomping on screaming crowds and raising buildings to the ground. You viscerally feel it. His blasts were also incredible to watch. They have such a power and a ferocity. It is impressive that this movie was reportedly made with just a $15 million budget. Just unreal, considering the Hollywood bloated films usually cost upwards of 200 or 300 million dollars or more. I tell you, Japan just does it better. The music by Noki Saito was probably my favorite soundtrack of any movie of the year. It is at times haunting, other times epic or dramatic, and always moving. Just a wonderful compliment and asset to the movie. The cinematography by Kozo Shibasaki was crafted beautifully. The shots of the city, the ships in the water, the size and scope of the disasters, while also having a keen eye for the personal, dramatic shots of the characters. 
there are some incredible shots of Godzilla swimming in the water. Including one in which his mouth is in the water where he looks like a shark in Jaws. Truly terrifying. Oh, I have to add how much I loved the end of the movie. I thought it was so moving how when they finally took out Godzilla, the beautiful music swells and everyone salutes the monster out of respect. Just a very nice touching scene. The very, very end was a little confusing with the main character's love interest surviving but seemingly having something black rise up her neck. Not sure what that is. And of course we do see Godzilla's remains are regenerating at the very, very end. So there will be a sequel for sure. Overall, this movie was just a sublime experience. Easily the best Godzilla movie I have ever seen. And one of the best movies of 2023. Highly recommend this even to people that don't like monster flicks. It will surprise you. Terrifying action, great acting, emotional story, epic music, beautiful visuals, superb direction. I have to give Godzilla minus one. Godzilla minus one.